the Russians had no alternative but to respond. They responded because, well, what happens in their backyard is of vital importance to them, and Medvedev has risen to the occasion. That's my point of view. Here's Val in Vienna, which is Val Zaman. How are you doing, George? I'm doing fine, Val. Thanks for phoning. I'm sorry I uh, mistook you for a lady. Not a problem. Happens all the time. Listen, Good. I disagree with almost everything you stand for and say. Uh -huh, okay. Good to hear that we've got uh, listeners in Vienna. It's also a pleasure, I'm sorry to say, to see your alleged anti-war credentials in tatters tonight. Oh, really? <laughs> Tell me why. You surely cannot possibly also deny the reality that the Russians, for whom you have a, a great admiration, seemingly, have exploited this situation to try and undermine the entire Georgian state. They're not driven by concern for the people of South Ossetia, most of whom, by the way, are not ethnic Russians. Well, uh, I'm not sure that that contribution quite leaves my anti-war uh, credentials in tatters, Val, if you'll forgive me saying so, uh, especially as you uh, do not dissent from the analysis that I set out. Uh, I'm uh, not a pacifist, as I suspect you know if you're a regular listener. Uh, I do believe that there are times when one has to fight, and one of those is when one's vital national interests are threatened. How, given what you have just said... How can you justify the presence of Russian troops in Georgian territory? I speak well, I, I don't think that there are Russian troops in Georgian territory. There were uh, for a few days after the fighting, but they've been withdrawn. And even those that were in Georgian territory, it's been testified to by numerous uh, television journalists that I have seen that they were not fighting, merely sitting around in their vehicles. Russia has a right to enter South Ossetia and to enter Abkhazia to defend its national interests and its nationals. The Russians have been handing out passports in South Ossetia. Well, like look, you, you, you say that. You can couch it as pejoratively as you like, Val, handing out passports. I just, I just feel, feel it is very, very naive. It is naive in the extreme to suggest that an individual of Mr. Vladimir Putin's uh, you know, kindness and charm is lying awake at night fretting about the, the welfare of the Ossetian people. You know, what I'm worried about is, is, is that you seem to be saying that it's okay and you're happy with well, Russia. Well, it's okay for Russia to intervene and the Russian troops have every right to be in Abkhazia to defend their interests and if that means destroying uh, the naval assets of the aggressive Georgian state, so much uh, the better. I'm thinking, you're saying that uh, Russian troops have, have um, withdrawn simply to South Ossetia. Yes. This is patently untrue. It's being shown on lots of news channels at the moment, and I'm talking on, on the BBC News, that Russian troops have spread themselves right across Georgia and are currently trashing the um, hardware of the Georgian uh, military forces. There have been um, uh, journalists uh, and investigative journalists in in Georgia today, saying they're being passed by great columns of Russian military vehicles spreading further and further out into Georgia, who do not look as if they've just come for a half a day. They've, they've come to stay. They've come to occupy Georgia and give it a very bloody nose. Well, they've already given it a very bloody nose. Now, uh, Ronnie and Airdrie, who's always good for a laugh, thinks I'm a hypocrite. Let's hear why. Go ahead, Ronnie. I don't know why I do this, but go ahead. Hi, George. I don't know how I can follow that comment there. Uh, but can I make a comment before you go in your soapbox? Of course. That's why I've let you on the show. And you promise not to turn me down? No, I don't promise anything of the kind. Hi, George. Uh, okay, well, we've had enough already. It's difficult to know why a month before the Olympic Games uh, the Russians started to mass their forces on the border, and border with Russia and Georgia. Um, it's difficult to know why they suddenly engaged in improving railways transport in Abkhazia. Um, it's difficult to know why um, their so-called peacekeepers seem to be encouraging and also turning a blind eye on a sudden, up as exactly a week before the Olympics, sudden um, increase in attacks that were increasing by the day on Georgian villages within South Ossetia. Um, why was this happening? Why was it that um, uh, 
a Russian um, officer was caught with his car full of thousands of Russian passports, um, not even signed. Um, you know, it's difficult to know why that happened too. So I'm not saying that it was perhaps, uh, you know, possibly the wrong moment for Georgia to say enough is enough. But on the other hand, a whole lot was going on on the other side as well. What I find terribly sad is that people like you, George, um, are encouraging um, the Russian government along these lines. You know, if, uh, if the good friends of Russia would tell the government that this is not the way to make yourself loved, uh, it's better to be loved than to be feared, and to have good relations and keep to the law. I think that if you, if you look, want to look back over the years, you can see that there was a tremendous amount of bullying and Russian tanks um, coming into Georgia in the 1990s. This isn't the first time they've done this. You have to see a very scared and frightened state of Georgia. The second thing is that um, I think you are totally misled uh, not your fault, but because of the propaganda. Ossetia, under the Soviet Georgian Republic, had less rights than Scotland has today in the United Kingdom. It was absolutely part and parcel of the Soviet Georgian Republic, Socialist Republic. But they don't want to be part of Georgia. Whether they should or not, it's another matter. Who is they? You know, 20,000 Georgians also lived in Ossetia. The, who aren't they? They? Is no, it the majority, Dr. Tamara, the, the great majority. I think we can agree on that. I mean, it's very important that we don't try and mislead anyone. Let's agree, I hope you'll agree, that the majority of people in South Ossetia and the majority of people in Abkhazia do not wish to be part of Georgia. Well, I'm sorry, if you count the Georgians who were driven out of Abkhazia, there were 250,000 of them, they were living in Abkhazia, and they would have formed a majority. They were ethnically cleansed from Abkhazia, and you mustn't forget that, George. Please don't descend to that kind of level. What is more, which you don't seem to remember, is that there are at least 200,000 Ossetians living in mainland Georgia. Chauvinism, Georgian chauvinism, is... Uh out and rampant on the streets of your country now, isn't it? Georgia for the Georgians, that was the slogan, wasn't it? I am it? sorry. For one, I think you ought to know that I was born in Great Britain. I'm third generation British. I was born in Oswestry in Shropshire. So uh, 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 and your answer to my point is what? I'm not being... Your point being that my uh, view is based on historic facts. And the facts are... The 20,000 Georgian villagers might never be able to return to their villages, which happen to be in the territory of South Ossetia, and they do not want to be free. The two quarter of a million Georgians who had to leave Abkhazia and leave, they are also Abkhaz, and they should be allowed uh, to go back to their territory. And I also think, and I really do think, and I beg you, to think of the consequences of encouraging Russia, where there are many people who would rather that Russia was seen as a warm, good neighbour and not a bully. And well, I thank you very much, Dr. Tamara. I think we've given you a good crack of the whip, and uh, you've uh, had plenty of time to lay out your, uh, your stall. I salute your courage, your strength, your indefatigability. Thank you, my friend. Very kind. Eddie and Leith says... That Dr. Tamara's informed and solid knowledge put your sensationalist soundbites back in kindergarten. More of her, says Eddie. Dave in Frisco in Tes Texas believes the same. George, that doctor just hammered you on the South Ossetia, Georgia issue without resorting to any of the low blows you tried to shell in. I think you've been dethroned on this issue. I want a rematch. Enoch in Leominster says, George, why don't you go and live in Russia if it's so good? If you did, you'd be doing the majority of people in England the only favour they've ever had of you. Hope the remainder of your birthday is rubbish, says Enoch in Leominster. Do you know this? Enoch, for many years people used to shout, go back to Russia to me. 